Hey guys, what's up? I'm back. Same shelf, but I do have some progress that I made in my workshop. I haven't had a workshop. I've been working in my garage, which is getting very cold, and just carrying my tools in and out, very cumbersome. So I decided to make some room indoors for myself. Kind of goes along with this dream that I'm trying to live out through this YouTube channel, maybe. I'm realizing that I would love to be a used bookshop owner on some distant island, but not a tropical island, an island that still has seasons, and I have a somewhat dingy but respectable bookshop on the main stretch, Cobblestone Street. You know, I know everyone on the island, it's a small population. Maybe there's some kind of tourist seasonal attraction on the island, but I know the locals. And I know, say, Eileen comes in on her lunch break and she devours books and she just finished, I don't know, Anxious People by Bachman and she's all into it and we're talking about it. And she wants to get into science fiction. So of course she comes to me. And I'm able to, able to go to my shelves and maybe I recommend Ender's Game, like a normie, or maybe I recommend Left Hand of Darkness, but I probably already recommended that. I'd hope to have something more specific that really fits her taste. Uh, maybe somehow it's Snow Crash. Maybe someone could actually like that novel. Maybe it's Doom. Maybe it's some Michael Crichton book. Maybe it's Starship Troopers. I don't know. But, you know, I'm the, I'm the book guy on the island. And I also do some carpentry on the side. And I have a little workshop in the back. And it's also a little bit dingy. That's kind of the color scheme I was going for. It was kind of old man bar. There's darts going on. There's cigar smoke in the air. Not that I play darts or smoke cigars, but I felt like it was a workshop in the laundry room of my house and that was the feel I was going for. And I was starting to wonder why do those kind of bars have those color schemes? And I think it's because the dark colors is very, it, it makes the room smaller, right? And you kind of feel like you're insulated in this room, which a bar wants because they want you to stay there and drink more. But I feel it could have a positive aspect as well if you're in the room and you your thoughts don't go beyond the walls. I'm there, I'm building a cute little shelf, and that's all I'm doing. I'm not thinking about my anxieties, I'm not thinking about future problems or current problems, I'm just there in this room and I'm building a shelf. And I think it came out really good. That's just one wall, I got some more to do, but I think it's a lot of good progress. Uh, when my wife came home and, shot, and, and saw it, her first, the first words out of her mouth were, oh, Barney. And you know, totally innocent, that was her genuine reaction. But I can't, uh, can't unsee that now. So, not that I'm going to change it, I'm going to live with it for a while, and I could easily put some wallpaper over the purple and the problem will be solved. But I can't deny it, that it's the Barney color scheme that I chose subconsciously. I'm not a Barney fan, I was never a Barney fan. I was a Thomas the Tank Engine kid, so I'm not sure how that came about. But, you know, there was some roundtable discussion at some point about what color to make Barney, and they chose a nice color pair that I stumbled into as well. More to come on the progress of my workshop, but now I have a review for you. I finally finished the fourth review in my pre-game series. I'm trying to ramp up to a 50 book reading challenge in 2023. Definitely not on trend here to do that, but this was a big boy, so I figured I'd get it out of the way, so to speak. Um, so that obviously this would be a, a speed bump. But that's the thing is, I read Children of Time, as everyone should, incredible book, devoured it, loved it, so I kept this one on my shelf thinking that it would be good for a speed boost because I would eat it up, I would devour it, but I didn't. It starts off with the same concept, um, terraformers go to a distant planet, something goes awry, and there's certain creatures that evolve in certain ways and interact with each other in certain ways. And I was all for it. But then it spends a long amount of time. I'd say 
this amount of time. Reminding people of the characters from the first one. And I get it, you know, you, you wanted to make it a standalone, you didn't want to make it a sequel. Although everyone read Children of Time, and if they didn't, they should. If they didn't, they should. So, you know, you really couldn't have just made it a sequel and had these characters come back without telling me how they deal with males and not telling me how they they evolved to space travel. So there's a lot of redundancy there, which I didn't need, but other people did. I understand that. And the, uh, the message, I feel like I was teased a few times. I felt like he was ramping up to this big emotion versus reason theme, which I'm all about. Actually, the, the book I'm writing right now is about emotion versus rationality. And the creatures that he introduced, I feel like he was, he was building them up as these emotional creatures, which were going to stand in stark contrast with the other characters that he has introduced. And he did, kind of, and there's this uh, kind of human robot hybrid who obviously is the rational-minded end of that thing. But it never really came to any kind of satisfying climax. It just, he, he introduced these elements and explored them a little bit, but then never really said anything about them. I hate that I, I, hate that I didn't like this book, but, you know, I can't deny it. I will say that I will take partial blame I haven't been in the best mood recently, which is not something you hear a, a critic talk about, is, is how they were feeling when they read the book. Which may sound kind of silly, but if someone's like going through a divorce while they're reading a book, they're probably not going to have a positive opinion of it. Or if they do, then it's especially a good book. But there's never like that little tagline after a review, like, well, what, what was the reviewer doing? What happened in your life while you were reading this book? Not that anything particularly bad happened to me, but, you know, I was just in a mood. I was impatient. So, of course, this book really kind of dragged. It's not a... not quite... it's not you, it's me. It's kind of you. Probably kind of me. I don't know. But, I got through it. So, would I recommend it? No. Unfortunately not. Read Children of Time. And then, maybe he's got a third one, which I have, which I will probably try, even though... I'll give it another shot. I will give him another shot. I know everyone loves this guy. I've read a whole bunch of praise for Children of Time. I actually haven't read any reviews of this one, so I don't even know if this is a hot take or not. Could be. Maybe not. I don't know. But it's an honest take. So, there it is. Pre-game review number four. Hopefully I'll ramp this up a little bit. I'll pick some smaller books. I definitely want something not science fiction. This was kind of an overdose on spaceships and physics and, uh, you know, space travel and intergalactic battles. I am a sci-fi guy, but also I, I have a limit. And this reached that limit. So anyways, uh, thanks for watching. If you want to keep up to date with this dream I have of being a island bookseller, then subscribe. I'm going to be trying to post videos every week. I got a whole bunch of books here that I need to show as book hauls and lists, so look for that. And a new shelf next video, so look for that as well. Alright guys, see ya.